Hey guys, welcome back to the Pulling Curls podcast. Today on episode 113, we are talking about curly hair. So this is just for my curly friends. If you don't have curly hair, I guess this isn't the episode for you. And I've never said it in a more meaningful way. Let's untangle it. the curly head behind the Pulling Curls podcast, where we untangle pregnancy, parenting, home, and even travel. We know there's no right answer for every family, but hopefully we can spark some ideas that will work for yours. Life's tangled, just like my hair. Okay, guys, before you get started, leave a review. I know that you love that I untangle things. And if you're a curly girl, you know how important it is to be untangled. So please leave a review. Okay, guys, today's guest, it's her second time on the show. She is the girl behind Girl Loves Glam and Girl Loves Curl. She's the mom of two adorable curly hair daughters. She will, when this airs, she will have a son. So we'll see if he has curly hair. But I want to introduce today's guest, Mackenzie Guyman. <laughs> Do you ever just feel like it's unfair that some people can have company over at a moment's notice? Their house is just super easy to clean up and they can relax on the couch with Netflix while you feel like you always have things to do around your house. That can totally be you. The Organized Home is all new in 2021. We're talking about decluttering, zones, organization systems that actually work. We've got assignments and challenges. I hope you'll join us. You can use coupon code UNTANGLED. Look for the Organized Home link in the show notes. Hey, Mackenzie, welcome to the Pulling Curls podcast. Hello. My curly hair guru friend. Guys, I have to tell you, I have been, well, I haven't been washing my hair, but I would like do a full re-wet midweek. And then Mackenzie kept saying, no, just wet it and put in like some conditioner. So I tried it. Lifetime of difference. Just a lifetime of difference. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> to hear that. So I had to have her on. I mean, my my bathroom clutter is pretty much just curly hair products. So I thought we'd have her on to talk a little bit. I mean, I don't think we've ever done a curly hair episode on the Pulling Girls podcast, which is embarrassing. Yeah, it's like a sin. <laughs> we, we are we are repenting today. <laughs> Mid season three. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so give us like a few of your best tips for curly hair. Like just this is for our curly hair friends. Hey, well, I think the thing that people don't realize is just how badly curly hair needs moisture. Typically, curly hair is on the dry side. So, I mean, hands down, the most important thing is to just give it that moisture. That's why your hair was so happy to be wetted down and then just have some conditioner added to it instead of completely rewashing it because those curls just thrive on that moisture. And so, I mean, anyone who's ever been to like a humid climate will say, my curls are so much happier here. And it's because of the moisture in the air. So just stick with any high moisturizing products and try to stay away from anything that's going to dry it out because those curls will always, always love moisture. And then I would say like another tip is to try not to touch it too much. Because that's always like, so going... no pulling curls. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull those curls. But try try not to mess around with it too much after it has dried, especially because that only creates frizz. And I'm actually trying to teach my husband this because he's kind of been growing out his hair and he'll just gel it. And then at the end of the day, he'll like run his hands through it. And he's like, why is my hair so crazy? I'm like, because you're touching it. But if you just let, let them be, then they'll be a lot happier and you'll be a lot happier because your hair won't look like a giant frizz ball. So I would say those are my top two tips but there's plenty more. I'm a toucher. So that's definitely a problem. It's because your name is pulling curls. I know. Actually, okay. So I don't like to pull my curls. I like to squish them. I've been thinking about this more lately. I like to squish the ringlet. So, you know, but squishing curls squishing does not curls sound anywhere <laughs> as good as pulling curls. <laughs> Although if I had to rename my blog today, it probably wouldn't be pulling curls. But I will say that when I go to a humid environment, like we lived in the Bay Area, which has more humidity than Arizona, as does most of the planet. My hair was so much happier. It's very sad in Arizona. Very sad. <laughs> yeah. I think anyone's hair would be very sad in Arizona, honestly. It's just dry. No, 
I think people who have like stick straight hair tend to thrive here, probably. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I think pretty much everyone's hair likes moisture. Though. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like moisturizing products, they lie. Like, cause I'll be like, this is a super moisturizing and then I'll do it. And I'm like, no, that's not. Well, and something you also have to be careful with, with moisturizing products is you can actually over moisturize, which sounds crazy, but it can almost leave your hair like mushy. And so you kind of have to have, it's, it's a trial and error. Definitely. It depends on like your hair type or your curl type. If you have curlier hair then or coily hair, a lot of times it ends up being even more dry. So you can typically go a little harder with the moisturizing products, but you can over moisturize. So definitely a trial and error thing. And yes, there are lots of products out there that just like to throw the word moisture on it <laughs> yeah. to try to try to sell you on it. And I mean, I that's the wonderful thing about the internet is pretty much everything has reviews on them. So you can go through and a lot of places have really great return policies with these kind of things. So if you try something that's just crap, then take it back to Ulta or Sephora or any of those places. They're really good about returning those products. So yeah. don't be afraid to try. How do you know when you've tried it enough? Because I don't think once is enough. Because sometimes I'm like, maybe I didn't use too much or maybe I used too much and I need to like figure it out the next time. It would all depend on how often you're washing your hair. But I would say to give it like it's probably two weeks. Yeah. And that'll give you a pretty good idea. I would say obviously it depends on how much you're washing it. But I would say like four or five washes. So however long that takes for you six years <laughs> six years <laughs> i mean i wash my hair pretty much twice a month so it would take me a lot longer yeah but yeah i wash once a month like wash wash shampoo wash mm -hmm. and my hair is always fairly unhappy after but mm -hmm. yeah and that is like the double-edged sword especially with curly hair is just i mean you obviously have to wash at some point to get product or build up off but curls just don't super love shampoo which is why i mean do you use a co-wash which is why you should use a co-wash instead of a shampoo oh no maybe i should try a co-wash yes so a co-wash is just a conditioning wash is what co-wash stands for and it's a shampoo that's a conditioner but you would still use conditioner okay. it's not like a you know all-in-one product it's a totally separate product and curls love co-wash so i use conditioner as a i mean i just do my hair like I'm shampooing it with conditioner a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But I do wash it like we do s'mores a lot and those that requires a wash. Yeah. <laughs> the smoke. Use a co-wash okay. instead. Wait after s'mores, use a co-wash and then condition after that. But okay. Do you have a brand? Do you have like three brands you love of curly hair stuff? Yeah, I actually love the Heritage by Mindy products that are at Walmart. So are those only at Walmart? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. They are only sold through Walmart. You can get them online as well, but I love them because they're affordable. I think every product they sell is about $7 and they're really high quality. And so I've been super impressed with almost every single product I've tried from her. Do they have a co-wash? And then is there a co-wash? Yes, Ooh. they have a co-wash. They have a co-wash. They have, I really like their conditioner and I also really love their hair mask as well. What's the difference between a conditioner and a hair mask? Conditioner is a lot lighter and you would use that every single time. And a hair mask is more really deep conditioning. And if you used that every single time, you would be overdoing it. My hair's never said that was too much, Hillary. Yeah. And that's how my, like where I don't wash my hair very often, I use one every single time, but it totally depends on your hair type. So try it every other time. And then if you feel like you could handle it every time, then there's no harm in trying it and see how it feels. Yeah. I, you know, I had lived with roommates in college and they would always get super greasy hair. And I'd always just thought, that's so weird. I don't, I must just really wash really well because I never get greasy <laughs> hair. And literally I probably was like 35, 40 when I was like, no, you just don't make any, mo there is no oil going on your scalp, Hillary. It's nothing, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing about your skill in the shower. <laughs> you just thought they were disgusting I don't people. Know. I was like, I just sleep lighter. I don't know. 
Um, and then as far as like other brands that I really like, actually like the Aussie brand has a few products that we use every single day that actually work really great. And one is just their scrunch gel. We really like their scrunch gel. Okay. And their hairspray, like their scrunch hairspray is that both of them really love curls. And so um, again, they're super cheap and you can get them at Walmart or grocery store. Target yeah. Or, anything. Yeah. Much for yeah any of those places. Yeah. Those I would say would be like my top two brands. And then the third one would be the Shea Moisture brand. Okay. That we use a lot of their stuff as well. Be careful with some of theirs. They have some that have like coconut oil in them. And we have come to find that it can weigh down the curls quite a lot. So if you have more fine curls, stay away from the coconut oil stuff because it'll just weigh down your curls way too much. Oh, interesting. So I, there was a Shea one that I was using in the shower and I noticed that I just wasn't allowing my comb to like slip through. Mm -hmm. So that one I now actually use after I wet it because I bought the 700 gallon bottle at Costco. (laughs) (laughs) And I like it for that. So I think sometimes you can like, you know, switch up how you're using it. So I use the Costco conditioner. So Kirkland Uh brand conditioner, and it's my favorite. And I used to use Aussie, but I do find that I have to switch it up like every year or so because my hair becomes tolerant. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I become tolerant. (laughs) No, I think I think that it's something that people don't realize is that your hair can get used to it. And like, it's like a medication almost that your body becomes almost immune to it and it stops working as well. It's like fentanyl. It's good to switch things up. Shampoo is like fentanyl. That's what I'm going to rename this episode (laughs) to. No, it's not. I don't get that happy. (laughs) Maybe my kids will like baths that way. (laughs) Okay, good help. Um, I the other thing that I do is I wear a sleep mask, and all of my roommates, anybody who's ever slept in the room with me, is always makes fun of me. Like when I go to blog conferences, but I always have like a silky thing on my head when I lay down, and it has made a world because I used to like at my neck, it would just be ratty. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know how to fix that. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it is. It it makes a huge difference. And it's a matter of, I mean, there are some people that just can't handle having something on their head at night. And I, that's my four-year-old. She, I try to make her sleep in one and she just, she can't deal. So we do a silk pillowcase instead for her. And while it's not quite as good as my older daughter who will actually sleep with a bonnet on it still is at least helping a little bit but it those actually do a number of different things they obviously help with tingling but they also they help add in moisture as well so that's pretty cool yeah i've thought about like throwing some conditioner on there before i put my bonnet on i'm not gonna lie Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I could just wrap should. my entire There's... head in saran wrap. I actually think there are people who do that. You say it as a joke, but I do think that that is a practice. I'm sure it is. You could wear a do-rag as well. That's a common practice as well. So I've been sent a few of them from different companies. And the only one that stays on my head, because I have really fine curls, is the one with the band around it and the full bonnet, like silky bonnet. So I've just gotten them. I'll put a link in the show notes if you guys are interested in the one that works for me. I've tried like I've tried like a silky beanie where the inside and it just comes right off right off mm-hmm. so yeah that the, the kind you use is the same type that we use at our house yeah too. and then i tried a tie one like where you tie it and there's like some tuck and nope mm-mm. i also nope. couldn't use like i couldn't use a baby carrier though either that i had to like tie like maybe i just don't have those skills mm-hmm. <laughs> I, could be, <laughs> I could use the bjorn where i just like stuck the baby in but it's too hard mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great information for everybody with the curly 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 girls. Let's unite. I feel like people are coming back to their curly hair. And if you are definitely get into Mackenzie's course, she has a girl loves curl course. It's totally free, although it shouldn't be Mackenzie, (laughs) but it's free on her website. (laughs) I know, but I'm taking your email address. (laughs) Anyway, it's on her website and you can learn so much about curly hair and how to take care of it. It's super helpful. So check that out. I'll put that in the show notes or it's at girl loves glam i'm sure they can find it on the homepage, right mackenzie mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's a sign up there how much time does it take to go through the whole thing um they're sent out once a week so it's like a 12 week course but they're just really short lessons small little snippets to make your hair healthier and happier yep thanks for coming on mackenzie thank you for having me
All right, my curly friends, I hope you enjoyed that episode and got some good information from it. I would love it if you want to come to Quilling Pearls or you could share it on Instagram. What curly hair product do you love? What should I try next? Because I feel like I'm just bouncing around to all the curly haired products and I just don't want to miss one. So tell me in my comments. Thanks so much for joining us on today's episode. We know you have lots of options for your ears and we are glad that you chose us. We drop episodes weekly and until next time, we hope you have a tango-free day. Thank you.